Being bigger and stronger than your opposition is a great way to ensure success. Now you can train hard for many years, build size, build skill to become a successful sports person or you can do this. Say you're a woman and then smash chicks. Enter Ash Davis. Yeah, 34, 21. Mr. Davis, Ash, why are you doing this? I'm David Menzies, no. Rebel News. Hi. Hi. No, you're not really uh, a part of this. Now, from the outset of this video, this has been recorded by Rebel News. Now, Rebel News is, for a lot of people, they see it as this right wing, you know, whatever. Don't care, all right? They're reporting on actual facts that are happening here. So let's not worry about what your political bias is. Let's just have a look at the report for what it actually is. We're looking at a transgender woman playing against women in a contact sport. That's what we're looking at. I don't care what your political allegiances are at all. Just watch the video. Also, people reference CNN and CNBC and all that type of stuff, and they're all massively left-leaning. So if I just left Rebel News out because it might upset some people, that would be ridiculous of me. Human rights of biological rights. women being the injured by this man. As a mother, why would you expose your uh, kids to a misogyny? That is my partner. That, that is my wife that you are. Good grief, your wife has the same hairline as me. That's very unfortunate. The conversation about transgender athletes competing against biological athletes in that gender have well it's been raging for some time now hasn't it and let's be brutally honest here we're only ever talking about transgender women or biological men as they're also known uh, competing against biological women because when it happens the other way and, and a woman becomes a man they never compete against men why because women aren't as strong as men and therefore they can't compete. Which is basically the argument of this whole conversation, but we'll get into that. I'm a registered social worker, sir, and I oh. demand human rights for everybody. All right, so what do we know about this situation? Well, not much, only what Rebel News has provided. In fact, the only other media player to even reference it was the Toronto Sun. Female rugby players complain trans opponent hits too hard. A veteran female rugby player who plays for the Stony Creek Camels, a great name, uh, seniors women's team uh, said she was hit so hard in a recent game it felt like a man delivering the tackle. The article goes on to say if this had happened a year earlier and not at the June 17 match in Fergus, Ontario, it would have been credited to a male player. Surely they're not saying that this Ash, what was the fucking name? Uh, Ash Davis was a man a year ago. Surely you can't be a woman for a year and then play against women. Transgender player known as Ash, said to have registered as a non-binary person who identifies as female, stands at five foot ten, almost six foot but not quite, and weighs up to 220 pounds. That's 100 kilos. The biological female player goes on to say, I've never been hit like that before. Even at a competitive women's level, said the player, there was so much more brute force. There are women who are bigger than him, but no girl hits like that. This is a strong human. Just so we're clear, this is who we're referring to, but, and I don't mean to laugh, but come on, mate. A friend of some of the players tweeted, three women's rugby players had to be removed from the game and treated for injuries from hits they sustained by a trans woman, and that she feels that trans has no place in women's sports. Now, let's consider my experience in this particular sport or this realm. I played rugby league for a very long time, and well, it's like rugby, but much more exciting and a better sport. I think I'm very qualified to, to comment on this because I played in a position known as the front row, where basically you run into their biggest people. That's your job. And I'd like to say that this is extremely fucked. This is ridiculous. You're competing against someone who has an enormous, enormous natural advantage over you. And, well, it's not even natural, right? It's not natural at this point because you being a female running into someone who has all of these attributes that you could never have, it's almost, I'm not going to say unnatural, but it's not quite fair. And this, of course, is completely different to Leah Thomas, who was winning all those gold medals and all those swimming events against biological women because she was a dude not too long ago. Now, it's different because, yes, it's still unfair, but it's, <laughs> you're not bashing heads. You're not bashing heads. It's also extremely unsafe to play against a biological man. It's just completely unsafe. My question is, why does no one want to protect women in this sport? 
Well, in Canada where this is going on, uh, it's a complete fucking free-for-all. Rugby Canada said that this is a federal inclusion issue and not only is this transgender player welcomed into the league, but the law protects this person from discrimination. Okay, well who's protecting the ladies from fucking concussions? I'm sorry, just watching this video, it just seems so unfair. Running the ball headfirst into this giant person on the opposition side which is, which is something I did for a long time. Just doesn't seem fair if you are a woman who is naturally smaller than men running into a man. It's just not fair. And this is what you do in that sport. You run at brick shit houses. okay? When I was playing, I was 134 kilos and I'd run as fast as I can at the other dude on the other team who was around the same fucking way. That is what I did, right? And this is what people do in rugby as well. How in the world is it fair? It's like the same as fucking boxing or MMA. You are competing against someone who is giant in comparison to you naturally. If they were giant in comparison to you because of steroids, it would never be allowed. But apparently it's absolutely fine. What the fuck? Men have naturally bigger muscles. They're faster, they're stronger. They have bigger hearts, bigger lungs, bigger fucking everything. Back when I was playing rugby league, I guarantee you, even probably now, after six years of not playing, if I went and decided to transition for a day and play in the females division, I would fucking dominate. I'd go straight to the best teams because I'd run all over these fucking bitches. I'm sorry, I know it's horrible to say, but it is true. Meaning a mediocre player, me, could go straight to the top, which is what is so fucked about this. It is unfair, not to mention unsafe, but unfair to biological women. So yeah, old mate from Rebel News here turns up at the game and decides to ask the players for a few comments. Hey, Mr. Davis, Ash, why are you doing this? I'm David Menzies, Rebel oh, News. Hi. hi. No, you're not really uh, a part of this. We're having a team chat now. Okay, so I'm just trying to ask some questions, sure, ma'am. But this is not the appropriate time. For that. Why are so you allowing a biological to... male to compete against so female players? We're not going to have a conversation. I mean, okay, sure. Maybe not the best time to ask this question, but when else are you going to ask it? My favorite part of this, though, and let's zoom in. Look at the reaction from these two potential women in the background here when he asks, why are you allowing a biological male to compete against women? Look at their faces. What part of that question shocks you? I'm with okay. you. Well, I'll talk to Ash then. <laughs> Ash, do you take joy in injuring female rugby players? Are you lacking the skills to play with male players where you should be? You're a biological male, aren't you? I got you. I got you. Okay. Right here. Thank you, sir. Okay, this is not nice from the reporter, but maybe we're too nice. Why do we have to be nice all the time? I had a podcast recently with the philosopher Peter Bogorzy, and then he had a conversation with me about being nice. He said to me, why do we have to be nice all the time? This is how these ideas and these ideologies become so prevalent is because everyone's trying to be nice around it. And it, it is a very interesting way to look at it. And maybe it is the way that we should be dealing with these type of problems. The player in question, Ash, has every right to be trans, all right? Every single right. And I will even call her she because I'm a nice guy. But when you infringe on other people's rights, that's where the issue lies. How is that hard to fucking understand? I don't get it. You're a biological male, aren't you? I got you. I got you. Okay. No, we're gonna have right here. Thank you, sir. No Mr. Ash, are you are you a misogynist? Thank you. Coming with no, me. So please, thank you, please. Hey, watch it. Just want to point out here. Did you see the difference between when the girls on the team were pushing the reporter and then a dude did it? Let's replay that. You see that? I saw that. That's the difference between men and women. All lives, <laughs> lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter. Oh my God. Imagine being this lady, this fucking child, breaking into chant at any moment just because you don't agree with someone. If you really believe what you're saying, what about the lives that are affected, like the women who are, you know, being affected by a biological man tackling them when they've signed up to play against women? What about those lives? Charter of rights and humans freedoms. matter. Human rights matter. Well why do, we have, rights, no. why do we have separate Human categories for matter. male and female sports? Human rights matter. Okay. You're being asked to leave. Human Actually, rights It's a matter. public park, ma'am. That is a very fair question. Why are there different categories to play in men and women? It seems unfair. I'll tell you why. The patriarchy and rising costs of living and probably Trump. Ash, why? Do you get, Human is this rights. a fetish? Do you, right. Ash, Human do you, and uh, I don't know about a fetish, mate. It certainly different, but it's not a fetish, surely. I think she genuinely probably believes that she's a woman and she's born in the wrong body and there's nothing wrong with that, etc, etc. I just have an issue with the rights of others that are being impeded upon. 
as far as being trans, go nuts. Or as I say in every fucking video, <laughs> remove them. Now, I'm not gonna show you much more of this video because it's basically just the team members screaming and chanting and making a lot of noise. Uh, but more people show up to argue with this reporter and even the police show up. Nothing really happens with the police, but they do show up. Presumably getting naked with people like this. I'm a registered social worker, sir, and I demand oh. human rights for everybody. Oh, okay. I demand human rights for everybody. Uh, playing sport against the opposite sex is not a right, you fucking dummy. This is against the rules. You can't have biological males playing against biological females. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they just... What's a biological female? What's a biological yeah, what's a biological female? Well, I would imagine if you're born with female genitalia versus male genitalia. Where did you get your PhD? Pardon me? You're, you're defining a biological female. Where did you get your PhD? Hmm. I'm going to go out on a, a crazy limb here and, and suggest that maybe you don't need a doctorate from university to understand what biological sex is. Penises are male. Males have penises. Females have vaginas. Right? You following? And... 0.001% of people in the entire world have both. There you go. So, what's the argument? Defining a biological female, where did you get your PhD? So I'm defining a, but ma'am, in the history of sports, all sports, with, with the exception oh, of equestrian or auto- I'm there for history. I'm only 19 years old. I cannot say what happened 20 years ago. What the fuck is wrong with Gen Z? Oh my God. Okay, so it's at this point the police arrive and their presence just relaxes everyone and the coppers are like, oh, mate, what's going on? And he goes, oh, I'm just asking questions. He goes, yeah, fair enough, just take it easy. And then he does. And I think we need to somehow wrap this question up. And I'll do it now. And it's not nice. If you are a transgender female, you were born a man, you can't play against biological women. It's unfair. Plain and simple. The rights of one person shouldn't outweigh the rights of... God knows how many other people. Sport and competition is about fairness. That's why steroids aren't allowed, right? So why would you allow people to do this? Like this Ash Davis, who's been on testosterone her entire life being a man and now just competes against women and has all of the benefits of being on that hormone for such a long period of time. It's not fair at all. Thankfully, many sports are starting to ban, I know this sounds horrible, but trans athletes competing against biological athletes. World Aquatics are starting an open category, which I think is quite nice. It will be dominated by men, just saying, but it's nice. World Cycling has banned trans athletes from competing against the opposite biological sex, as has Basketball Australia, and even World Rugby has, but I guess rugby in Canada isn't a part of the world, so they'll just do whatever the fuck they want. I guess that's just Trudeau's Canada. It's all fucked up. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down below. I'm interested to see this conversation happen in the comments section as well. So, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East with Extincts. Three videos every single week. Check out everything. Goodbye. See ya.